Hey, what's up guys? It is great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is why I ramble about tech and other stuff. So we have a bunch of pretty exciting new iPhones coming out and what better way to complement a new iPhone than some awesome accessories. I'll be reviewing the iPhone 12 and Pro Max very soon, but of course these are not available yet. So I'll be demonstrating these accessories with my iPhone 11 Pro Max. We'll start with some great ways to protect your iPhone, then some useful adapters, some really cool charging options, and of course some fun gadgets. Plus, we're gonna do a little experiment which may involve some shattered glass, so stick around for that. By the way, once the new iPhone drops, I'll be working with a number of case companies to bring you a review on the best cases for the iPhone 12. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell to be sure you don't miss out on any of that. So, let's ramble. Hold up, things go well when I pull up, they all on me like at once. So let's all agree that iPhones, especially the Pro models, carry a pretty hefty price tag. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to add some protection. Now the good people at Rhino Shield hooked me up with some pretty solid options. There will be a 10% discount code available for you, so be sure to check the description below if you'd like to make use of that. They did send me these items for free, but they're not sponsoring the video and as you probably know by now, if something sucks, I will tell you. Let's start with the most obvious one, cases. Unless you're made of money or you're very confident about your gripping skills, you're gonna to wanna to put some kind of casing around all that expensive glass. So before we continue, let me know in the comments if you think cases are really awesome or you think they're just meh. All right, moving on. Rhino Shield has a pretty big selection of cases to choose from on their website and a lot of options to customize. I picked these two, which are from the Solid Suit lineup. I like my iPhone to be protected all around so bumper cases are not really my thing. What I like about these cases is that they are super sturdy, maybe a little too sturdy at times, and they have a raised edge all around so they cover all drop angles. The buttons on these cases are actually customizable so you can just pop them out like this and replace them with different color options. If you enjoy having small heart attacks, you can head over to their website and watch the drop test they did with these cases and the actual iPhone. I'm not gonna try that out myself, I'll take their word for it. I do take my iPhone out of the case quite often when I'm working at my desk. I use my phone all the time and I want to be able to grab it easily, so I hate having it tethered to a cable. That's where this awesome wireless charging station by Belkin comes in. It has a standing charging pad so I can easily see whatever comes in on my phone and keep it charged at the same time. The cool thing about this particular charger is that it doesn't just charge your iPhone, but it will also juice up an Apple Watch and your AirPods all at the same time. Now, to make sure my iPhone isn't completely unprotected when it's out of the case, Rhino Shield developed these impact skins, which have what they call impact dispersion. Judging by the footage on their website, they seem pretty darn confident about this stuff. Again, I'm most definitely not gonna try that myself, but hey, it's cool to know that you can smash your iPhone with a hammer without shattering it to pieces, right? I went with the carbon fiber look because it matches my MacBook Pro and my iPad. Of course, the new iPhones will work with the new MagSafe adapters, and if you buy the official Apple case with it, you can just leave it on while it's charging, but not everybody is gonna wanna pay the Apple tax that comes with all that goodness. So these are some great alternatives. But Patrick, what about the front? Well, I'm glad you asked because I got you covered. Rhino Shield sent me two of their screen protectors. Why two? Because they told me that one of them, the tempered glass one, will eventually break. But the new 3D impact one will not. Now, you gotta admire their spunk because you know I'm gonna bend it to see what's up. So let's have a go at this tempered glass. Wait, safety first. All right guys, so let's do this. Here we have the tempered glass one, and let's see how sturdy this thing actually is. So let's do the bendy test. Oh God. Yep. All right, that's shattered. Now the thing with this 3D screen protector is it's not tempered glass, so you can just bend it whichever way you want and it will just be totally fine. I don't know if it's a fair comparison because that's glass and this is not, but truth be told, it didn't break. Well, there you have it. I love me some evidence. And lastly, on the protection front, we have these tempered glass lens protectors. Now, to me, being a camera nerd, the iPhone's camera is one of the most important features. I think it is pretty great to have this covered as well. 
They help protect the lenses from dust and water and of course from scratches. As we know by now, the new iPhones will come without a charger in the box. Check out my boy RJ's video on that. So if you don't own a lightning charger yet, you're gonna have to go out and buy one. A lot of us already have a ton of USB-C cables laying around the house since literally everything else charges via USB-C these days. But of course not Apple because they're super extra special. If you're like me and you don't feel like investing in a bunch of expensive Apple cables, you can just hop on over to Amazon and pick up a fistful of these for almost no money. I'll put a link in the description. You can just slide them over any USB-C cable and presto, you have a lightning cable. Alternatively, of course, you can buy a non-Apple cable, like this nice braided one, which is USB-C to lightning for faster charging. Another cheapo solution to an annoying problem is this thing right here. It's a little lightning to audio jack adapter, so you can just use whatever headphones you already had with your iPhone. The cool thing about this one is that it has a lightning connector next to the headphone jack, so you can keep your iPhone charged and listen to music at the same time. Another neat little cheap but useful accessory is this stand from Amazon Basics. It's perfect if you wanna watch some content on your phone in landscape mode, or if you wanna charge your phone with a simple cable, which you can run through this hole in the back. Now let's have a look at some stuff for on the go. Nobody ever talks about this, but if you drive a lot, you're gonna need a decent car charger. This one by Rhino Shield is great because it has a USB-C power delivery as well as a USB-A port. So you can charge your iPhone and something else like your iPad or your passenger's phone. If you don't travel by car, but you go by train or something, this power bank by Belkin is just perfect. It has more than 10,000 milliamp hour of juice, so it can easily charge your iPhone and some other stuff like a controller. Why is that useful? Because this battery bank is also a stand for your iPhone, so you can play games on the train and charge your iPhone and your gamepad at the same time. For the gamepad itself, I can recommend this Xbox One controller, which works great with the iPhone. It is the Arctic Camo Edition, which I think looks pretty cool. Of course, you can also just use it as a regular power bank to charge whatever you want. It even comes with these handy indicator lights so you have an idea of how much juice is left on it. All right, guys, once the new iPhones are out, expect more videos like this one as more and even better accessories will be developed for those models. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It will really help out the channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.